What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvice.com, bringing home the bacon NFL DFS video or fantasy football video for week five rankings. So what we're going to do is just like we've done in the past. We're going to go through each position. We're going to go quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, defense. We're going to go top 10 through there. If you want to see the rest, you can click the links in the description. Running backs, we have like over 100. Wide receivers, like 120. Uh, we've got them all ranked through. So what we're going to do is we're going to rank them just right now as of Wednesday morning. And then if you've been with us before, you know that if, you know, Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, we update the rankings. So we take out all of the Thursday night football players. Uh, then we'll take out the uh, Sunday morning London game since it's so early. And we'll focus on that. So we do have, you know, bye weeks is this week uh, starting. Um, so we've got some teams out. Then we'll remove some of those players from the Thursday night game and the Sunday morning game. And they'll go from there. So we're going to go through here. Um, obviously, these are tentative through Wednesday morning. Um, we're still waiting on news and notes for injuries, questionable game time decisions, stuff like that. So that is why we update them Sunday morning. So we won't have an updated video Sunday morning, but if you check the links out um, Sunday morning, probably let's say two hours before uh, kickoff, then we'll have updates there. So that being said, again, if any of these videos get at least 50 likes and you leave a comment and you are a subscriber, you have a chance to win a free week of DFS content. If a video gets 100 likes, you have a chance to win a free month. 125 likes is a chance to win a free year. And 150 likes on any of our videos, a chance to win a lifetime pass. So this video last week did not get, um, and, you, and this is the thing, we have from now until basically Sunday, to get the 150 likes. So if you do like this, if you find it informative, definitely let me know. And we'll go on and we'll look at that kind of stuff. So that being said, we do again have a sponsor. It's Parlay Play right here. If you sign up, the link is right here in the articles or it's in the description of this video. If you sign up to Parlay Play, you deposit at least $10 and you use the promo code FTA Sports, which is right here, you will get a free week of DFS content. That is every sport we have to offer for a week. If you sign up and you deposit $100, they are going to match you up to $100. So you're going to have $200 to start with, a $5 free game, and we are going to give you a DFS yearly pass, which includes sports betting as well. So go check that out. Parlay Play. Go check them out right now. Get in there before the Sharks get in there because I want you guys to be Sharks. And we are going to give some plays out for Parlay Play in our Discord channel, which you can also find down below as well. So that being said, we are going to look at the quarterback rankings. I don't think it's any... Um, I don't think it's any surprise, but we have Patrick Mahomes number one right now. He gets to go up against Minnesota, and we're going to look at everything. So we're going to go through all of these rankings. So if you look at this, Mahomes here um, going up against Minnesota. If you so this is part of our premium or this is free content. Um, it's our uh, points allowed tool, which you can find on the website. Uh, you can sort it by either DraftKings or FanDuel, whatever. Uh, we're going to just go with uh, DraftKings. So if we look at this um, and you want to sort it by each position, um, we can kind of see Minnesota ranks 24th of 32 of all teams, uh, 20.7 fantasy points per game average to the quarterback position in 2023 so far through four weeks. So we've got Patrick Mahomes here as number one. He gets to go up against, uh, he is the most expensive at 8,200, but he, he has a fantastic matchup here. Game logs, not the best game against the Jets. It was a down game for him, uh, but then that was his worst game of the year, uh, Sunday night. But that was actually the one where we our cheat sheet took down the Sunday night football game. Um, we tied first place with three other people, or two other people. Um, instead of five hundred dollar first place prize, we got four. We got two. I think it was split like two eighty or something like that. Um, but yeah, so he's got the best matchup here um, for us. He's number one quarterback wise. Number two is Josh Allen coming off a fantastic game. This is one that it is Sunday uh, morning football. This is in England. We know that he had a absolute monster game, uh, but you probably are not playing this one. 
He had 39.5 fantasy points there. He was, you know, if you are taking down a tournament, probably needed to have him in there. That being said, we do have a fantasy football league on DraftKings. It, we've got 200 available spots. It's $10 a week. We've only had four people um, put lineups in the last three weeks. Uh, first week we had, I want to say nine. I think we had nine. And then we had four the past few weeks. If you guys want to get in, get in. It's it's fun. It, there's money to be won. Uh, the link will be in the description down below as well. So we do have Josh Allen, number two. We've got Tua, number three. Did have a down game against the Bills. But I think he has a bounce back game against a very, very bad Giants team here. Uh, number four is Lamar Jackson. Number five is Jalen Hurts. Number six is Anthony Richardson. Seven is Kirk Cousins. Eight is Jared Goff. Nine is Justin Fields. We were all over. And if you watched our videos, if you checked out the optimal lineups we had on the site, if you checked the cheat sheet out, was all over a Justin Fields, Cole Komet stack, and it came through for us last week. Um, and then number 10 is Trevor Lawrence. For whatever reason, Jacksonville gets a second week in a row of a London game, which is weird to me. Um, but yeah, so um, we've got Trevor Lawrence here at number 10. So if you look at this, um, like a Tua is in our list. Did have a down game here, but he is now 7,100 going up against a Giants team that currently um, ranked 15th. You've got Richardson here against 17th. Cousins against the Chiefs defense back and forth. I do like that, especially at home. Justin Fields is the Thursday night football game, so you have to play Thursday night if you are going to have any exposure to him. Those are our quarterback rankings. If you want to see all of them, click the link down below. That brings us to our running back rankings. I don't think it's going to be um, a surprise, but we had McCaffrey number one last week, and we all know what he did last week. Came in, he's 9,400. He is going up against the best defense uh, against the running back, but he is defense proof, a matchup proof here. Game log, 51.7 out of him. 106 yards on the ground with three touchdowns, and he had uh, 71 yards in the air with one touchdown technically could have had another touchdown for whatever reason they didn't want um they didn't want him to tie the record with five they let brock purdy sneak it in he could have easily gotten it they were on the one or two yard line so he could have had even a bigger day there um i don't think it's a surprise he is he does have a, a tougher matchup here against um the giants or against dallas but i really like mccaffrey here at number one um and again, if you want to see all of them, we have a bunch ranked. We'll go through the top 10 here. We've got Bijan here at number two, Atlanta at Houston. Houston's actually been serviceable. Uh, but if we look at this, Bijan come in 7,700 um, game log wise. He didn't do too bad against Jacksonville, but he could have been better. The, the This is the problem. The Atlanta offense is so bad that we don't know what we're going to get out of them any given day. Um, Matchup wise though, uh, 25th against the run out of him. Then we've got Derrick Henry, number three, did have a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown, so had a big game uh, last week. Uh, and he's still a little relatively cheaper, 7,500. Um, yeah, so receiving touchdown, or he had a receiving touchdown and a passing touchdown uh, for Derrick Henry, 122 yards on the ground. Finally had his breakthrough game last week. Number four is Brian Robinson. Number five is Josh Jacobs. Six is Tony Pollard. Seven is Travis Etienne Jr., but it's going to be the Sunday morning football. Eight is DeAndre Swift against the Rams. Nine is Saquon if he's in. I fully expect him to play this week. He's had time to recover. Uh, was questionable uh, pretty much all weekend, and then Sunday came, and then he was doubtful for Monday Night Football. I think he plays here. Plus, uh, he's just got a um, a matchup here that I really like. So I love Barkley here at number nine. And then number 10 is Kyron Williams rounding out the top 10 out of here. So if you look at those, not all of them are in here um, in this higher end, but you can find them if you go a little bit lower. Again, that doesn't mean we don't like other ones, but as of right now, these are our top 10 on Wednesday morning. Wide receiver-wise, we've got... Oh, I guess I didn't view posts. Let's view posts now. Okay. 
we've got Tyreek Hill leading off our rankings. I, gr- I love this matchup for Tyreek Hill. Um, I think uh, people might be a little bit sour on how uh, Tua did and Tyreek did last week, but they had a tougher matchup. Um, I really like this matchup for him. I've got Tyreek Hill number one going up against um, just a a very, very bad the Giants. Oh, and let's look at the Giants overall real quick. He's the second highest priced uh, wide receiver after Jefferson. The Giants, they're 13th against wide receiver. He had a down game, but I would not be surprised if he gets another 30-plus burger out of this one. Um, I do know there are other mouths to feed now. Waddle's back. You've got uh, a Chan who had another good game last week. Uh, then you've got Raheem Mostert there. I mean, there's a lot of mouths to feed in this one. I think Tyreek Hill has a fantastic matchup coming in against uh, just a terrible Giants team that is reeling. I don't think they're congealed together. I think there's rifts in this team. Um, They are very, very bad. Daniel Jones is getting paid a lot of money to suck really, really bad. Um, number three is, uh, or number two is Justin Jefferson. Uh, this isn't the best matchup for him. He is very expensive, but this is a dude that, I mean, he consistently goes out there. He gets 25 plus, uh, fantasy points every single week. He's lower priced than he was against Carolina last week, had 85 yards last week, but had two touchdowns. So had the least amount of yards all year, but had two touchdowns to make up for it. Week one, two, and three had 150, 159, 149 yards. So was averaging 100, basically 150 yards a game before last week. Now he's averaging 135. He's got 543 yards already, and it's only through four weeks. So I absolutely love a Justin Jefferson matchup here. Um, that's why he comes in here at number two. Number three is Stephon Diggs. I don't mind this matchup against Jacksonville. It's early Sunday morning. Number four is Devontae Adams. Hopefully it's Jimmy G coming in. If we look, I haven't heard anything on Garoppolo yet. So he's still in it. Uh, He did miss. That was two days ago on Monday. I fully expect him to be back. I don't think Aiden O'Connell is going to take over here. Even though O'Connell... His 4,900 would be very cheap. Didn't have that bad of a game. Only 238 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Um, did have a rushing touchdown, though. Um, but I fully expect uh, Devontae Adams here coming in, even with uh, Aiden O'Connell last week, had 15.5. 75 yards, um, could have had better, but it was targeted 13 times. So he's really, it doesn't matter about the quarterback, but I fully expect it to be Jimmy G going against him or going up for him. So I love him there. Number five is A.J. Brown had a fantastic game. We were all over him over Devonta Smith uh, last week. And then we had A.J. Brown come in, had another good game, had 41.5 fantasy points, 13 targets last week, 175 yards, two touchdowns. So we had 41.5 compared to Smith, who had 14.8. So Smith has had, and I've said this, and I said this in last week. I said that if uh, A.J. Brown is the wide receiver one in this offense. Now, we saw Devontae Smith have the first two weeks better games, but I I was all over A.J. Brown the last couple of weeks, and I'm all over him again here. That's why he makes our number five. Number six is Jamar Chase. This one's he has a fantastic matchup. It really depends. Joe Burrow needs to be better. He got paid a ton of money. He needs to be way better than he has been. Jamar Chase had that 100-plus game. Everyone was on him last week due to that. They were chasing that um, 100-plus, 150-plus yard game the week prior. I think people are going to be a little bit sour on him. I do have Jamar Chase at number six. Number seven is Jalen Waddle. I just love this matchup for the Miami Dolphins. Number eight is Amon Ross St. Brown. I love this matchup for him. Coming off another good game last week. Number nine is CeeDee Lamb. And number 10 is Chris Olave in this matchup. Again, hopefully though, hopefully Derek Carr does play, but he's got to be better than he was last week. Derek Carr in that game. I know he was hurt. Every every single person thought Derek Carr would not play up until basically Sunday morning. Came in, it hasn't been good. 37 attempts, only 127 yards. Um, he's got a shoulder problem. It's a problem. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. 
Um, I just don't trust him a ton, but Olave can get it done. That brings us to tight ends. I don't think it's going to be a surprise. Uh, Travis Kelsey, number one. I had him number one last week. Did have a down game. They were The Jets were able to shut him down on Sunday Night Football. Thought he'd have a better game. Um, so he's had a couple of games that, you know, he's 7,600. He's had some down games this year. Uh, 12, the first week, 12.6. Well, the second week, he didn't play week one. Week two, 12.6. Then he came back and had a touchdown in week three against the Bears. And then nothing. Uh, 12 fantasy points last uh, week. 60 yards was not much. But again, he's getting targeted. They are targeting him. He is Mahomes' safety blanket. They're number one. Um, there is no blank space between Mahomes and Travis Kelsey in this one. That's why I've got him as number one. Number two is TJ Hawkinson. Love me some Hawk here in the same matchup. Wouldn't be surprised if he has another big game. I'm looking out of Hawkinson. Number three is Sam Laporta. So back-to-back Iowa tight ends out of tight end university. Number four is Mark Andrews. Uh, wouldn't be surprised he had a good game last week. I wouldn't be surprised again. Number five is Dallas Goddard. Up and down this year, but I really like him. Number six is George Kittle. Now, just kind of looking at this, they do have Kittle. Um, he's actually down price-wise. Right? Or am I... No, he's right here. 4,800. Usually he was in the 6,000 range. Problem is, it's been like a down year. Like, he's had one good game against the Giants in that comeback. Or that... uh, The matchup again with 90 yards. But last week against Arizona... Excuse me. Against Arizona, he was only targeted one one time. I don't know why. Um, But again, Christian McCaffrey was running rampant that week... uh, Last week. So, one target is not enough. They've been using George Kittle... I mean, they've been winning games. They've been using him as more of a blocking tight end, which is not good for us, but good for him and and the team itself. Uh, Obviously, we'd like to see a little bit more. He does have a matchup against Dallas. Dallas does rank 13th against the tight end. So they're 13th out of 32. So not the worst, not the best either. Uh, And that is another tight end. So uh, three of the top six tight ends are Iowa tight ends. They just know what to bring out of Iowa right here uh number seven is kyle pitts i don't know what's wrong with my voice number seven is kyle pitts versus houston the problem is atlanta is not utilizing him either use him or trade him i don't know what's going atlanta's offense is trash outside of their running backs trash um they need to utilize kyle pitts here he's got the tools we know we've seen him play last year we know what we're going to get out of him Hopefully, he has a good game here. That's why I've got him ranked number seven. Number eight is Evan Ingram. Number nine is Dalton Kincaid. And number 10 is Jake Ferguson, which I used Ferguson the past couple of weeks. He's a cheaper option. Um, Game logs had a couple of good games here. Uh, Seven target. He's getting targeted, basically averaging right around seven a game. Um, Hopefully, gets, you know, hopefully uh, Dallas. I know they're going up against San Francisco. It could be a low scoring game. They're ranked ninth against the tight end but i do like jake ferguson here to round out our top 10 and then defense wise it really just depends it's kind of a crapshoot with dfs uh and season long it just depends number one we've got the ravens against pittsburgh just because uh pittsburgh is without kenny pickett uh so their quarterback is it trubisky is it gonna be trubisky probably Yeah, so it's probably going to be Trubisky, who only had five passing attempts in that game. Mason Rudolph w- was inactive. He should be active uh, for this game uh, as the QB2. So I think it's going to be Trubisky, who's going to be 5000 So in DFS, if you want to throw Trubisky in there, because he is 5000 he's minimum price for a quarterback, and you can pair him up with like a Pickens or... Um, but they are also without Fryermuth as well. So I really like the Ravens. I think they're going to be the most popular... Uh, defensive pick uh this week and i think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory why um but they are the highest priced so they they have a good matchup just because uh they're you know not going to be against kenny pickett now number two is the 49ers they're really good uh defense this year they're going up against Dak and dallas which is a good offense but this could be a low scoring game number three are the eagles going up against the rams i don't know about this one we'll kind of see i don't know how much exposure i'll have to the eagles defense this week we'll, we'll just see number four is washington commanders going up against uh justin fields will we see justin fields the first few weeks of the season or are we going to see last week's justin fields for thursday night football I don't know. 
Um, they saw what he was able to do last week. They need to continue that game plan. I don't know what's going on in Chicago. I don't think anyone does. Um, we saw Chicago go up. Wasn't it? Tw- wasn't it twenty-eight nothing? Right. Yeah. Chicago went up 28, and then I believe they gave up 31 unanswered points. Wild. Um, So we'll see what the commanders can do there. You got the Bills going up against Jacksonville in London at number five. Number six are the Saints at New England. Depends if it's going to be Mac Jones. Is it going to be Bailey Zappi? We don't know. It's a mess in New England right now. Number seven are the Detroit Lions versus Bryce Young and the Carolina Panthers. Love me this some Detroit Lions this week. Number eight, the Miami Dolphins against a very, very bad Daniel Jones and the Giants. I could see the Dolphins jumping up a little bit in our rankings come Sunday morning. Number nine are Dallas Cowboys versus Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. And number 10 are the New England Patriots taking on a very hurt, most likely, Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints offense. So there you have it. There is the top 10 rankings at each position. If you want to see all of them, click the links down below. If you want to see all of our content, go to fantasyteamadvisors.com. Check out FTA Plus, $24.99 for the month. Or you can sign up for Parlay, uh, just like we said right here. Parlay Play, uh, either iOS or Android. You can sign up, use the promo code, deposit $10, get matched $10, get a week of DFS content brought to you by fantasyteamadvice.com. Use the promo, promo code FTA Sports and deposit $100. They're going to match the $100. And we're going to give you a year pass to FTA Sports. So that's what I've got going on. Good luck today. Good luck this week. Let's bring home some bacon in week five. Peace!